Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install and use Phone in Foga. As you probably know already, Phone in Foga is one of the most advanced tools to scan international phone numbers. So let's jump right into it. Phone in Foga can be found on GitHub. This is the link. I will provide it in the comments of this video. Scrolling down on the page in the README file, you should find the installation steps, or at least this is the case for most of the programs on GitHub. Well, not for Phone in Foga. This is why I am going to show you how to install it, even if you don't have the steps here. I usually install my programs in slash opt folder. Let's see that I don't have it uh, installed already. As you can see, no such file or directory found. To install it, we're going to use this command. I will copy paste the command in the comments of this video so you can also take it fast without uh, being forced to write it by hand. The installation is pretty quick, a few seconds. As you can see, it's done. Now let's check that it's actually installed. As you can see, we have it here, but it's installed with this user and in the Docker group. So let's switch it and uh, put it to root or to the Kali user if you're using the Kali user. Phone in Foga. Okay. Let's see. Yes, it's under root. Now let's try and see how we can use it. This is, let's see first the help page. As you can see, and as I said before, this is one of the most advanced tools to scan phone numbers. And uh, in order to use it, we're going to um, have to type this syntax. So let's try to, to search a random phone number. Phone in Foga scan dash n from number we're going to use the codes because we have to provide the country code we're going to use a random number from the us i'm just picking one i don't know randomly three nine 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 something like this it's okay i think the number is okay and as you can see in a blink of an eye we have the results you can see it's the, from US, it's an international phone number. And here you have a bunch of uh, links that uh, the, the tool extracted for us. Now, moving forward, as you can see, the, the program is installed in slash opt. But if you are uh, exiting this directory, this folder, we will not be able to use it anymore. As you can see, this command is not working. Command not found. In order to be able to use the program for whatever folder we want to do it, we will have to move the program in user slash bin path. So let's do exactly that. First, we need to go back in slash opt. And now let's run the move command. Move phone, actually no, uh, move dot slash phone in Foga and then as I said user bin slash phone in Foga now let's exit again the opt folder as you can see we don't have it anymore here so it, it has been moved let's go back in the home folder for example and try to run phone in Foga again Actually, I mistyped it, phone in Foga. Yes, like this. As you can see, now we can run the program from uh, what path we want. We don't have to be in the path where we install the program. Now, let me show you a nice trick. Because as you can see here, if we use the program in the command line, we have a lot of links, it's hard to read, you, you have to be very careful not to miss something. So this is why I'm going to show you how to use this program in a web browser. For this, we are going to use this command, phone in Foga, 
serve dash p from port and here you choose a port whatever port you want i'm gonna pick 2323 press enter and now let's switch to the browser open a new tab and here we're gonna do localhost and the port we previously set 2323 and as you can see we have here phone in foga in the web version right let's try to search the phone number we previously used yeah this one this time we don't have to provide the country code like plus one like we did here because as you can see we have the plus one already there the country code already there good let's look up and boom we have the results here if you scroll down you will see that uh, we have a few scanners available like numverify or google cec uh, or OVH, but for this we need an API key. And uh, for in order to get an API key, we need to create an account and then so on. I will let you do that, but let's see what we can do with Google search. Here you will notice that um, phone info is looking on websites like Facebook, like Twitter, they're looking for this phone number on different websites. Uh, all these links that are provided here are working. Let's take this one for example. And here you will see a full search of this um, of this phone number and where it appears on different websites. You can probably find uh, the name of the, the owner, the name of the owner for this phone, and and so on. You, all you need to do is just click on these these links and try to find more info about this phone number. Okay, this is it for this video. Thank you for watching.